Yeah. So we're going to do a little bit different this week because the whiskey that I chose is, a spoiler. is, is partially a spoiler. Okay. So. Okay. You've been born. So this week <laughs> I chose uh, every, uh, every week we pick a whiskey. And this week I brought out proper 12, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. which uh, you were already familiar with what that means. But for those of you that aren't out there, uh, proper 12 is an Irish whiskey. Yes, yes. And it's not St. Patty's Day or anything like that. No. Um, but it's distilled by uh, master distiller Connor McGregor. <laughs> <laughs> so if you don't know what that name means, Connor McGregor is a pretty legendary MMA fighter. Yeah. He's been around for a while. He's kind of on the down a little bit, even though everybody still loves him, though. I think Conor McGregor is one of the most overrated fighters Yeah, in the history of the UFC. Yeah. I, I, I could see that. I think he's whack. Okay. Yep. He has lost a lot lately. I think he he did beat people. He did. Right. But I think the, his biggest fights were against... But they were like version has-beens. version two fights, like you know what I mean. Like some of his fights, he would he like tied or lost, and then came back the second time and was decisive. And yeah, won. like he beat Aldo, but it was like you know a quick punch. Right, it's not a true fight, and it was like again Aldo been fighting for fucking nine years. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, professionally. Yeah. Like, and then he like who else did he beat Diaz? Mm-hmm. Oh no, sorry. But no, he, he got beat by he Diaz, got beat by Diaz, and then had the fucking quickest turnaround rematch in the history yes. of the UFC yeah. to fight him again, and it won by decision. Yeah, which is, I don't know. Just I'm just saying, look, yeah. Connor's dope. I mean, he's the, he's he he's been great for the sport. He's unpredictable. He, yeah, he can get these quick one hits like he did on Cowboy mm-hmm. and like he did on uh, Aldo. But as far as like a brawl, once the fight starts to go past that first round, mm-hmm. it has been shown that Connor. Typically, will lose said okay. fight. Yeah, or it goes a decision and it becomes a fucking you know a popularity contest dispute. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So the reason I I brought this out mm-hmm. um, is because and uh, spoilers ahead for Sonic Two. Mm-hmm. So again, if you haven't seen it <laughs> and you want to go, okay. So <clears throat> Conor McGregor is a fighter and mm-hmm. he's a popular fighter, mm-hmm. and he made a whiskey. And mm-hmm. just because you attach a popular person. <laughs> To a product <laughs> does not make it good. Now I have I have had this before, mm-hmm. and it's not that great. No, so it's not. I'm sorry, I, but wow, number two. Uh, there are Dr. Peppers on the shelf behind you. <laughs> if we need them, <laughs> so I just like, <laughs> uh, just like if you attach a legendary actor like Jim Carrey to a movie, it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a good movie. Oh my goodness, you know, and. Just like Connor should maybe stick to fighting and not making whiskey, maybe Sonic should just stick to video games. <laughs> oh my goodness! And not to movies. <sighs> okay, rant over. Uh, here you go. Pour Jeez. yourself some. <clears throat> we'll see how it tastes. Maybe, maybe you know, uh, maybe that, having it be an open bottle. Maybe it's maybe it's changed it's, the characteristic. It said a bit. I poured way too much. No. It's- <laughs> You're paying for this one. There you go, buddy. There you go. <laughs> so, uh, you want to read? Is there? A, I think it's like minimum. It's let's, let's, four age, four years. I think paying tribute to where it all began for me, Dublin Twelve, our master stiller, and I set out with one goal in mind to craft the proper Irish whiskey. That is true to Ireland. We are honoured to share this with you, and proud to donate our first responders for every bottle sold. Enjoy this smooth and balanced whiskey. A fine blended gold rain, grain, grain, not rain, and a full flavored malted barley. Triple distilled and engaged for three, four years in bourbon barrels. Proper number 12 offers hints of vanilla, honey like, sweetness, and toasted wood. A proper salute to all. So now that sounds fantastic. It does sound fantastic. They, they hired one hell of a copywriter. It did. It was made in Ireland. It made in Ireland, yes. yes. I think it's a little sneaky what they did with the name of it because it's called Proper 12. So you think it's a 12 year aged. See, product you do, but it's not. It's four years aged. Where's the twelve come from? I have no idea. Dublin twelve. Yeah, he says the, the Dublin twelve is. In, I don't know if that's like a distillery over there. Maybe it is, or or a company. I, I have no idea. It probably is. Yeah, I was just looking for an Irish whiskey to add to the collection because yeah. I didn't have one at the time. It was cheap, and it's cheap. And I I had had Jameson. I had had you know um, Bushmills, and so I just wanted to try something different. And so I bought I bought this. Nose is very, very weak. 
Yeah. Very, very light. A little bit of sweetness, a little bit of... Oh, I really get a sweetness. I mean... little, little like... Um, there's like a, a... Some sort of... Like a dill or a clove. Yeah, some, yeah, yeah. something like that. It's a weird, like... I don't know. It smells like a brown spice a little bit, but... <clears throat> don't know what. I'm afraid to go in. <laughs> it's just weak. This is super weak. It's like there's, water, bro. This tastes like water. Yeah. Um, there's no, there's no, no spice to it. There's no finish. No sweetness, really. It's a slight finish, but it's, it's more of a tingle on yeah. the side of my tongue than it is a flavor. Yeah, yeah that's just. It's four years. Has it been double mellowed? <laughs> just like well, it says triple distilled. Oh, great! Um, aged four years in bourbon barrels, which I mean, and it's you know, it's I think it's forty percent. Right? I feel like distilling things multiple times, especially with the whiskey, is not the best idea. Yeah, I'm not an expert, but <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I don't know. You triple distilling like your whiskey. I feel like it's just going to take a lot of. Well, that's around. typically what you do with vodka, right? You triple distill vodka. Yeah, vodka's like five or six times. Typically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, which again, it becomes flavorless at that point. Right, and that's kind of what you want out of a vodka, anyways. Yeah, for it to, like just maybe they don't like fucking whiskeys that have flavor in Ireland. I don't think no, that's, that's true. That's not true. <laughs> I'm sure I was trying to find a good thing. I don't on. think that's true. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know. What? I mean, it's not horrible. It's just really boring. Because it tastes like nothing. Yeah, it's not yeah. bad. You yeah. Know? Yeah, it's not. I mean, yeah, it's not as bad as that fucking Jack. It's just Jack has tasted bad. But this is. Yeah, that actually tasted bad. This can, is just boring. Yeah. I, I, I think, again, would probably be an okay one to like, oh, I've never drank. Look at the color on it, bro. Before. Yeah. It's light. Very light. I mean, I've had light whiskeys that have lots of flavor to them. Yeah. I mean, I think Irish, Irish whiskeys are typically kind of lighter like that right yeah i got one of my houses like this light as well so but the i have a few more irish that are upstairs that like are light but vanilla good. and honey i don't taste any i kind of smell honey a little bit maybe honey yep that's a one i'm kidding <laughs> yeah a little bit of honey yeah a little bit all right that's uh rob is he struck out twice already so uh, well this one was intentional the other one wasn't. Strike out intentionally. Yeah. I remember that when I bought my next whiskey. I right. mean, if it fits the show. It is me, yeah. <laughs> For full episodes, find us on your favorite podcast provider. Check us out on flicksworthwatching.com.